4D Oozing Cauldron Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys! In today's video, I am going to be showing you the last of my oozing Halloween nails for this year. I may very well do some more next year because they were a lot of fun, but this one is going to be an oozing witch's cauldron. So I've got some green ooze in the bottom that comes up out of the cauldron and bubbles over, which is... I don't know. I love all these oozing nails. I think they're amazing. If you missed the other two from this year, I will put links to them in the description box below, so check that out. And don't forget to click, sub click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So I'm going to begin with an overlay of a lavender acrylic, and then I'm going to encase that with a layer of clear acrylic. One thing I do want to mention, if you guys noticed this in the little beginning part, is that my natural nail was too long for me to put this um, this tip on and have the pipette underneath it, which is why there was that nice little gap near my cuticle. If you were actually sculpting this on your own nail, you wouldn't have that gap. I just wanted to, um, explain why that was. So now I'm encasing that with a layer of clear acrylic, like I said. And the reason I went with a lavender background instead of a different color is that lavender and green are on just about the opposite side of the color wheel. Not quite, but they're, you know, they're far away from each other, which makes them really show up nicely against each other. So having the green little oozing bubbling cauldron against that slightly purple background turns out and makes everything look a bit brighter. I then filed it into shape. After that, I'm going to take and file a hole right where I want my pipette to be. So right under where I'm going to place my cauldron. So for me, that's not quite at the tip because I knew that I wanted to have a little fire underneath my cauldron. But of course, you can place that however, wherever you like. So I'm going to wrap a little bead or a little ball of clay into some plastic wrap. And then I'm going to take some black acrylic and sculpt my cauldron going around that. That's going to give you that really nice rounded shape. And it can be any kind of clay. Um, it can be a polymer clay like Sculpey or it can, um, I'm even actually, what I used was poster putty because that's what I have on hand. That's what I use to attach my, uh, my nail tips to my brush handle when I'm sculpting on them. So I have lots of poster putty hanging around. It's nice and easy to grab. Then gently just file the top edge of your cauldron so that it's a little bit cleaner looking. Then I'm going to glue that onto my nail. Sorry, I'm off camera. <laughs> glue that onto the nail around that hole. So the hole goes right underneath your cauldron. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to add just a little bit more of that black acrylic going around the cauldron to fill in any gaps. If you don't fill in the gaps going around the cauldron, if you look at it and say, yeah, you know, you don't really see that it's just glued on there. It looks pretty good. That's not really going to work out so well because as soon as you start oozing your pipette underneath, it's going to, I mean, whatever kind of liquid you've got in there is going to leak out those cracks and come out instead of the top. It's going to come out the bottom or the side first. So just bear that in mind and make sure that you do fill them up so that that does not happen kind of like making an aquarium nail. You really need to make sure you fill in all those gaps so no leakage occurs. After you have that done, I'm going to take a little bit more of the black acrylic and I'm going to make a rim around the top of my cauldron just to make it a little bit, have a little bit more interesting of a shape instead of just being a little bowl shape. So it has that little nice brim around the top. When you do that, use really wet acrylic so you can set the bead down and then pull it into that nice bar going around the top of the, around the top of the cauldron, just like that. And once you're done with that, you can just touch up anything else. If your cauldron wasn't nicely rounded at all, you can also add a bit more acrylic here or there to help fill that out. So now on a nail form backing, I'm going to be sculpting two little rectangle bar shapes of brown acrylic. Like I said, I had a little fire going on underneath my cauldron so that it looked like it was boiling for a reason. And so these are my two logs. So just sculpt those out. I'm using a bronze acrylic instead of just normal brown. It makes it a little bit more, a little more sparkly, a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to glue those down underneath my cauldron. So I'm just going to glue the first one in place. Obviously, if nail glue is involved, it doesn't go very smoothly for me. As you can see, that one was just not going so great. And that one, I couldn't even hold on to. So I'm adding a little bit more nail glue, picking it up again with my tweezers. So my tweezers, I this tweezer that I'm using, I have dedicated for things that do use nail glue. And so they have a really, really heavy buildup of product on the end of them from various nail glue situations. So they don't really grab things very well anymore. I need to clean them, soak them in a little bit of acetone for a bit. And then I'm going to take some orange and yellow acrylic. I started out with a layer of orange and I'm going to sculpt the little flames coming up from my logs. So wherever you want to, just kind of place them here and there around the logs. Then after you have the orange down, add a little bit of yellow on the tip of each of those little flames just to make them look extra fiery. And I, I didn't paint my flames at all with anything. I didn't feel the need. So I just left those as they were. Otherwise, you could have always added that little bit of yellow on them with paint instead if you would like to. So then I'm going to take some green acrylic and I'm going to be adding a little bit of a background bubble behind my cauldron. So I just added basically a very thin layer of green acrylic within the cauldron space kind of behind it, not filling in that hole that I have though. So I'm taking a very bright shade of lime green acrylic or paint. 
sorry, paint. I'm going to add my bubbles coming up from the cauldron to make it look like it really is bubbling quite a bit. And I'm going to take little white highlights and highlight each of my bubbles so that they look a little bit more dimensional and like they're nice and shiny. After you have that done, take some diluted white paint. So I'm just diluting it on my finger with a little bit of water or my thumb and just kind of wash over the cauldron to give it a bit more dimension. Apply a layer of gel sealer over the background, just like that. And then apply matte top coat over your cauldron. And I'm going to take a couple pumps of hand sanitizer into a little cup, add a little bit of green food coloring. This is going to be my little cauldron potion. And I'm going to mix those together. The first time I thought, you know, it's a little too thin for me. I put in way too much food coloring. I'm going to add some more hand sanitizer to kind of balance out the consistency just like that and then I'm gonna take my pipette and I'm gonna squeeze out the air and then suck up as much of that green ooze as I can and then after I have that done I'm going to trim off the extra the extra pipette so it's not quite so long just like that then clean off the the neck of it and then uh, add some nail glue around there and then stick that into the hole underneath your nail so that it is nicely glued into place and that is it so like you can see it goes right up if I didn't have any length on my natural nail I would have been able to wear it but of course I wasn't going I, I didn't want to cut my nail so yeah there's that so I hope you guys like this as much as I do like I said I will be putting links to the rest of them in the description box below for my other oozing nails so check that out please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram I would love to see them and I will see you in my next video bye